Hello and welcome back. And we are in our final assessment for term two. So well done for getting to this point. Our third and final assessment for this term is ICT Web 302. Build simple websites using commercial programs. I'm going to be talking you through how to create this. And obviously this is a design. It's got various elements which we are going to be making up our web page on. You can see that we're going to be using a couple of pictures, that we've got a title, we've got some information which has some formatting in, a line. And this is obviously a bullet point list, but in Dreamweaver it's, ca it's called an unordered list. So that's what we're going to make. And then we're going to make sure that whether we expand or contract the amount of area on our web page, um, we will always have this information centered. So in Dreamweaver, we're going to be putting in objects, we're going to be creating containers, we're going to have something called a cascading style sheet, and then we're going to be actually typing in a little bit of HTML to ensure that our work or our words are always centered. Now, before we start opening up Dreamweaver, um, we need to get things set up. And what I mean by that is having some folders ready. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at how to basically set up our folders to make sure that we've got everything that we want. That being said, this is what we need to do. And it's really simple to start with. I want you to go and create a new folder and I want you to call it website. So let's go and do that. Let's put in a website and you'll be able to put all the different types of websites you're going to be creating uh, in this assessment and in others to come. Open it up and I want you to put a specific name in for this website we're going to be doing. And I want you to call it market day, market underscore day. And then inside this, we need to have a folder which is going to save all of the images or contain all the images for this site. So create a new folder and I want you to put in image or images. How about that? And we have that. So now when I come out, there is our website and that's going to make things a lot easier. Now then, your next job is to open up Dreamweaver. And once you open up Dreamweaver, that's the latest version. Okay, so that's the one which you're going to get online. It's not Dreamweaver CS6. It's the latest one we have. And we're going to be interested in absolutely none of this. We're interested in setting up our site. So to do that, you'll go to Site and Create New Site. Right, so what we've just gone and created is a website called Market Day. So let's go and put market underscore day in here. And we need to know where to put it. So down here, browse to that folder. Probably you will be directed automatically to your documents folder. So you'll need to go to desktop. There's my folder. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to open up Market Day and I'm going to go choose. Don't click in Images, just go into the Market Day one up here and click Choose. Right, we're nearly finished, but I want us to go into Advanced Settings. And the only thing we're interested in here is local information. And what I want us to do is to get this website to automatically look into our Images folder for any images. So up here, go into this folder icon and you'll see that it directly links us straight away to our Market Day website folder. Open up the images and click Choose and then Save. OK, so we've now gone and created this. So how do we know? Well, if we go to Site and Manage Sites, you'll see ours is in there. Now that we've gone and done it, we can start to go and create a web page for our web site. So, File, New. And nice and straightforward, we want a new document. 
we're going to be using HTML and we're going to be calling this home page dot HTML and click create. Okay, so let's see what we have here. And I'm just going to drag this up. You, I would like to make sure when you go to view and split, can you make sure that you've got those ticks? So you've got a tick next to code design, split horizontally, design view on top. And the reason for that is because that certainly for the bottom two here, I'll be using all the time. I will be switching between code live and code design throughout the videos. But if we can start with that, that would be great. Now, at the moment, we have a blank page, but all I want to show you here is that underneath we have some code. Now, HTML is a little bit like Russian dolls. And if you've not seen Russian dolls, go and have a look on uh, Google and you'll see that you can put one doll inside another and inside another. And essentially, you can regard these as containers. We have a series of containers here. Everything, all things connected with our web page and our website is contained within these HTML tags. We have an opening tag. And how do we know we've got a closed one? Because we've got a forward slash down here. Inside HTML tags, we have a head tag. So we've got this bit here. Now, the head tag is essentially not going to show us what we can actually see. This is hidden information. So for example, we've in this case, we've got our title tags and that's going to hold the name of our web page. We could put other things in here, other metadata, such as keywords to find our web page. But essentially, that's as much as we're going to be putting in. Uh, we may get a little bit more. What we do have is our body. Now, our body tag is going to contain everything that we do see, and this is going to be filling up quite quickly. So that's simply tags. So in this video, all we've gone and done is show you how to set up your website by creating the folders to be put onto your desktop. We've gone and named our home page. And the last thing that we want to be able to do is go File, Save All. And make sure here we are saving it in Market Day. And it says Untitled, call it Home Page and click Save. OK, that's everything for the first video. Look forward to seeing you in the second. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.